so let's move forward now testing for carbonyl compounds so let's say we have an unknown sample and we want to know whether it's a carbonyl compound so uh, this is a test for carbonyl compounds in general which means uh, it is a test for both ketones and aldehydes which means uh, we cannot differentiate between ketones and aldehydes with this with this test there's there are different tests for that we will be doing that further in this presentation but this is just a general test for both ketones and aldehydes it will give the same result with both ketones and aldehydes so it's a test for carbonyl compounds now what we use is so uh, the type of reaction we are talking about is condensation the reagent is 2,4 dnph so this reagent it looks like this so you should remember the structure of this reagent this is a benzene ring you will do benzene in your A levels and this benzene ring is attached to two nitro groups and here it's attached to an, an amine a, a, a hydrazine a, a group so this becomes N H N H2 so this nitrogen atom it's attached to a benzene ring a hydrogen atom a nitrogen atom which in turn is attached to two hydrogen atoms so what happens is that let's say this is a carbonyl group so this the, this reagent is 2,4 dnph or 2,4 dinitro phenyl hydrazine 2,4 d so you can write dnph in your paper you will not be penalized you can write this short name it's completely fine now what happens is that let's say this is the carbonyl group so there can be H there can be R there can be anything it can be a ketone it can be an aldehyde it can be anything so I'm not making the complete the complete uh, thing I'm just making this so what happens is that the H2 combines with this oxygen so a water molecule is eliminated a water molecule is eliminated from here and so you can see that this is a condensation reaction and the, the other two compounds combine combine the other two compounds will combine so no two Now, since so th this nitrogen atom, uh, let's label it X. So the X nitrogen atom, you can see that the H2 combined with the O. So now this double bonds with the carbon atom from the carbonyl, and we have this these groups. So this is the reaction that takes place, and what you observe is an orange precipitate. So you should learn this reaction. You should remember that. So instead of putting the H2 over here. Let's put the H2, uh, so this, these are the reagents and we have an H2 eliminated. So you know that this is a condensation reaction because in a condensation reaction, two molecules combine to form a larger molecule and a small molecule is eliminated in the process. So no specific conditions for this reaction, it occurs at room temperature and the observation you will see is an orange precipitate because this compound that is formed is an orange precipitate. It's called 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazone. So this was 2,4 dinitro uh, dinitrophenyl hydrazine, and this is 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazone. So orange precipitate. So you don't have to learn all these names. What you have to learn is the observation that if the compound you are testing is actually a carbonyl compound, it will give an orange precipitate with 2,4 dnph. Be it an aldehyde. Be it a ketone. In both cases, it will give an orange precipitate with 2,4 dnph in this condensation reaction. So let's move forward. Now, distinguishing, distinguishing between aldehydes and ketones. So let's say we had a carbonyl compound. We took a sample. We in, uh, so not a carbonyl compound. Let's say we had a random compound. We took a sample of that compound and we tested it with 2,4 dnph and we got an orange precipitate. So we know that the unknown compound was a carbonyl compound. 
But how do we know whether that carbonyl compound is an aldehyde or it's a